Welcome. Today's video is going to be about using Templator in Obsidian. Just how I use it, a little bit about it, where you can find more resources on it. Before we get into that, there's a few ways you can support the channel. Number one is to become a patron at patreon.com slash Curtis McHale. Number two is to take one of my courses. You can find the links below. You're probably most interested in my getting started with Zettelcasting course, which is on Skillshare. There's a link to that below. Um, and then you can just go take the course and learn about Zettelcasting. Uh, other ways to support the channel, there's a Discord channel, link below. And you can still join me for streaming. We often have done it at 1, it'd be 1 p.m. Pacific most of the time. Um, but right now, because it's going to be really hot out in BC for like the next little bit, we're probably going to be doing that at 6 a.m. for the next bit. So just watch the stream. I'll try to post it, especially if it's 6 a.m. the day before, so you don't miss it. Buckle up, let's talk about Templator and Obsidian. Okay, so Templator, what is it? It is this. Let's just hop right into my stream. So it's this right here is my folder of templates. I can actually edit this template right now. They don't really want that in here. I can actually take the tag right out. So this one, I start a new book note comes. I just bring that in for me. Or this is a camping packing list. Clearly, it's not very filled out yet or my content template, which has all of my uh, checklist of things I need to do when I finish one. This is my daily note one. So this is actually where some of the power of a templator comes in. It has a whole bunch of variables for us. So it lets us set things like the file creation date. It lets me um, modify the date as well. So it tells me the modification date. It lets me use these variables here. So TP date now, set my format. So I set the format to match my daily notes. And I say minus one. I set it off the note title because my daily notes are dated by the day. Um, and then I can have navigation backwards and one forward zero. It's a programming thing. Zero is today. So that's why you have to do minus one and one because it's adding one or taking away one. Right? Let's me do a basic note template or my ski list when I'm going to go skiing, stuff like that. And also let's even look at today. So say today. I was going to go skiing, I'm not going to go skiing. It's super hot today. So I just put in here ski and then I can hold for me. It's command option E and I can put in ski list. And now I have my ski list in there. Super easy. And I could just resolve it as I went through and I could say, yes, I have masks for everybody. And I have ski helmets for everybody. I have skis for everyone. I have ski boots for everyone. Okay really silly thing is this year, the only time I forgot a bunch of stuff for skiing was when I didn't do my checklist. The only time this year I forgot the kids ski boots for the littlest kids. So I had to go rent ski boots and then rent skis because the ski boots are too long. It was like a gong show. But it was a good final day of skiing where one of my daughters skied a black diamond for the first time and the other one skied a whole bunch of hard blues, which was excellent because that was their first time getting off like greens. Anyway, um, so that's one way I use it. I also use it when I let's go to my K writing board. There's one note in here I haven't done. Yep, the Vantage Obsidian plugin. So I would say new note from card. And then up here, I'd say uh, content template. And now I have that built out for me really nicely. Or if I am coming in here, oh, I see it's updating for you and not me. Um, if I wanted to come in here and go to my calendar and find a day that I don't have a note template for, it's automatically brought up my note template for me because I've hooked up Templator together. Now, there are a lot of other um, things that you can do with Templator, right? Here's actually my blog post that will go with this, you see my daily note. There's full documentation uh, of Templator, and there'll be a link to this in the show notes for this video, right? right here. There's full documentation uh, of this here. So you can really dig into what the variables are, what you can do with it. And there's a whole bunch of really cool stuff for it. And there's also thanks to Mr. Anthony Baker, who I'm going to answer some questions later in the stream today uh, of his, there's actually a really good forum post as well. Right there. That really shows you a whole bunch of things that you can do with Templator. Um, and just gives you a lot of other ideas, a lot of people working through it, explaining how the variables work. And I use this a bunch at the beginning, um, just to kind of get a handle on what needed to happen with Templator. 
That's it. I think Templator is an essential plugin for anyone using Obsidian. It just gives you a lot of power. It lets you standardize things. It lets you like adjust so I can adjust my ski list in the future. I can build my camping list. I just have it all ready there for me to go. That's it. If you liked the video, thumbs up below. If you didn't like it, I don't know, give, give it a thumbs down, I guess. Go find someone else you do like to watch. Uh, you can support the channel by becoming a patron, patreon.com slash Curtis McHale. Take one of my courses, probably the Zettelkasten course. There's a link to that below, or you can go to curtismichael.ca slash Skillshare. Sign up for an account. I got some money. Find one of my courses there. Uh, you can follow me streaming often, uh, 1 p.m. on Fridays, Pacific. Um, but when it's really hot, we'll do it at 6 a.m. just so I can beat the heat because I do not have air conditioning. Uh, so, yeah, it'll probably be the next couple weeks we do that. Uh, what else? That's it. Discord channel. Links below. Thumbs up. Have a good day. Try to be here yourself today.